friends, we are working through the book 10 Tabs for Claw Hammer Ukulele, and up next is Red Rocking Chair. So this, as you see in the upper right-hand corner of the tab, has a specific tuning. It's a G, C, F, G. So uh, we'll have to get our instrument into that tuning before we can uh, continue. And keep let it, let it settle a little bit so it, it wants to stay home there. This tuning is kind of uh, the ukulele version of uh, Mountain Minor or Sawmill tuning, which banjo folks really like. And uh, I did that because I originally learned this piece in that tuning on the banjo from my friend Paul. So um, I'm gonna. There's another video where I play this more up to speed. Today we're gonna play it nice and slow, and I'll give you a few tips. Lots of hammer-ons in this one. Pretty cool, huh? It's got a kind of a haunting modal sound to it that I really like. So in the first section, I know some of you are already asking about the first pickup measures, the first pickup beats, where we have a hammer-on on a string that we aren't, we haven't played. It's called an off-string hammer-on. So in the tab, it's uh, right here is what I'm talking about. This one's the normal hammer-on, and then here you're playing the second string but hammering on in the third string. So what's that about? Well, it works. Um, so the first hammer-on. In the second. So if you just want to practice that first measure, I'd recommend doing that for a while. And you notice that the home base for this song is kind of this position here. Besides that, the first part, it doesn't have too many surprises. But the second section where we go into those double stops, I know you're going to ask me about that. So um, if we'll do the same motion for a melody note, but instead of hitting one string, we'll hit two strings. So we've got... See that? So over here, we're hitting two strings. Pulling off to there, then we shift up to five and seven. So that whole section of the double stops, I know it's a challenge, but I think it sounds really cool and it's worth it. And not only is it double stops, with uh, your right hand has to play two strings, but your left hand has to do pull-offs and hammer-ons around the double stops.
yeah, so I mean, those are the two tricky parts, I think, for Red Rocking Chair. And um, there are lots of different versions of things with this title. Um, Paul uh, called this one Red Rocking Chair. I'm pretty sure it's more a variation on Rain and Snow, which is the kind of our old ballady, banjo-y, modal tunes that come from the same family, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, there you go. Drop me a line if you have questions. Cheers.